Hey, what's up guys? This is Dan from Six Pack Shortcuts. Uh, I just wanted to make this video response real quick. Uh, there's a guy called Evil Cyber, whose video I just saw on YouTube, who made a video saying, uh, forget about getting six pack abs. And he made a bunch of points saying why he doesn't think that getting six pack abs are, is a very good goal. So naturally I had to make a video response to this, kind of give my perspective, and uh, tell you the reasons why I feel that getting six pack abs is a really great fitness goal for you to have, and why it's something which, you know, really I think that anybody can achieve. Um, so basically, to go over real quick, the points he was making, uh, he thinks that in order to get a six pack, uh, you're going to have to starve yourself and be very restrictive with your diet. Uh, he thinks that some amount of belly fat is healthy because it insulates your organs. Um, and he also thinks that having a six pack is uh, not really going to make a difference to women or that is actually going to be unattractive. So uh, I wanted to address all these, give my perspective and tell you exactly what I think and uh, tell you the reasons why I think having a six pack uh, is a great goal actually. Um, okay, so point number one, um, he's, he's thinking that you have to really starve yourself to get six-pack abs. And in my experience, you know, training with Mike, this really isn't the case. Uh, you know, I've, I've said this before in a bunch of other videos where a lot of people think we're like super restrictive with our diets. Um, and we do eat mainly healthy food, uh, but we're eating, you know, two or three times the amount of calories the average person is in a day. Um, for anyone who thinks we're like really restricting the calories, uh, we're, we're not. We're eating a ton of food. Uh, anytime someone sees us eat, they're always wondering, you know, how we put down so much food in the day. Um, so really, I think that in order to get six pack abs, in order to get really lean, you do not have to starve yourself. As long as you're eating mainly healthy food and you have a good system for making that happen, uh, and if you're doing the right type of workouts. If you're doing both of those things, you know, you can eat plenty of food, probably far more than you're eating right now, and still get six pack abs. Um, second thing, um, belly fat. Now, there's been a lot of studies done where uh, they've studied the effect of like overall fat in the body and they know that having a uh, body fat percentage which is too high is obviously correlated with a lot of you know health problems. Um, but there's also been <clears throat> There's been other studies done showing that belly fat specifically uh, presents a lot of health risks. Um, humans were not meant to carry a lot of fat around their belly. If you look at uh, paleolithic humans, they didn't have like big beer guts. Uh, it's just not something which is healthy or necessary for a person to have. Um, I would say though, if you're if you're down at like competitive bodybuilder levels, if you're down to like you know five or six percent body fat, where you look like disgustingly ripped, yeah, I mean that's unhealthy. That is really unhealthy. But if you're walking around at like nine or ten percent body fat, where you see your abs, but you look you know you look normal, then that's going to be very healthy. I've noticed myself since I got down to a low body fat percentage, uh, I have more energy, I get sick less often, and my health has just improved overall, um, and I feel much better. So I feel that unless you're taking it to an extreme, losing your belly fat is going to be good for your health, good for your energy, and overall you know good thing for your life. Uh, third point. Women, <laughs> do women really want the six pack abs? Um, I've seen the women's reactions to to Mike, and I've seen the differences in the reactions. And you know, of course, it's only one factor. You know, it's not the only thing that women care about. But yeah, you know, it does make a difference. Let's, let's keep it all real. If if a woman has a great body, obviously that's an asset which is going to help her to attract you. If if you have a great body with six pack abs, you know, that's really going to be an advantage for you to attract women. And if you look at the reactions that guys with six pack abs get, you know, it is an advantage. And again, that's not the only thing they care about. But to say it's not an advantage at all, that's just not, uh, it's not the case. Um, another point that he made is that in a lot of situations when you're talking to women, you're going to be wearing a shirt, which is true. I mean, that's a good point. But I feel that if you have abs and you look great when you take your shirt off, this is actually a big advantage even when you're wearing a shirt. And the reason why is because it's really going to increase your confidence, you know, whether you're male or female. Um, if you know that once you take your clothes off, you're going to look great that really does have an effect on your confidence when you have your shirt on. Um, you know, it's kind of like having an ace in the hole where you know that, you know, when it counts, um, you know, the person's going to be really attracted to you. So, I mean, whether you're male and you have that, like, masculine six-pack or whether you're female and you just know that, you know, you're going to feel great about your body once you have less clothes on, uh, it's really, really going to increase your confidence. And finally, I, I wanted to share the last and most important reason why I think having a six-pack is a great goal for everybody. Um, I really subscribe to Tim Ferriss' idea that he has about how sometimes small 
realistic goals can be harder to achieve than like really big, hairy, audacious goals. And what I mean by that is, say you're a little bit overweight right now and you have a goal of going from being overweight to looking average. Uh, that right there, I mean, it's achievable. Uh, theoretically, that could be done pretty easily, but it's not inspiring. Uh, it's not going to motivate you to get up and do your workout every day and to follow the right diet and to do all the things you need to do. So, uh, in a way, although it is theoretically more achievable, it can actually be harder because that goal does not motivate you to do the things you have to do. On the other hand, if your goal is to go from being overweight to having your ideal body, to having the six pack abs you always wanted, uh, to be to looking exactly like you've always dreamed that you looked, that's going to inspire you. You know, that's going to motivate you to get up in the morning and do your workouts every day and to, you know, to follow the right diet and to do the things that you have to do. So, in a way, even though you have to do more, it's easier to get the stuff done. So it can be more achievable to achieve that big goal. And uh, yeah, I mean, straight up, getting six pack abs is a project. It's a goal which you're gonna have to put some work into. Um, but it is achievable no matter what your genetics are. And I really feel that anyone can achieve six pack abs if they're motivated enough and if they have the right system. So uh, that's my perspective. Um, so that's why I feel like having six pack abs is a great goal, which you know anybody can aim for and succeed at. Um, you just need to have the right motivation and you need to have the right system. So if you want some more tips, uh, check out my website I have with Mike, sixpackshortcuts.com. We have a free video on there where uh, we talk more about our system for getting a ripped body and abs and show you how you can do it yourself. So that's it. I'll talk to you guys later.